Hello and welcome to Building Techniques Wednesday. I am the Crazy Gamer and this is Crazy Gamer Models and well I mixed that up. Welcome to Crazy Gamer Models. I am the Crazy Gamer and I do models. So I build me some models here and this is Building Techniques Day and this is going to be a third video on clear parts but it is all about tech Leaks. So let us check this out. So if you look right here, zoom in a little bit. There we go. We are we've already built this little hatch section here and we left it closed. And then we have this section built, not glued on yet, because we may have to do some work. And now we need some clear parts, T1 and T5 times 5. Here is the T sprue. It is clear, as you can see. And we have our clear parts on here. Now, if you saw my video on um, dealing with clear parts, and this was taking out a scratch that I did a poor job on, but it's the principles there. Uh, when you cut parts out of the sprue, they can, um, you can damage them, they can crack, um, you can have all kinds of issues. And what a lot of people do is they come in here with their cutters and they just, you know, lop off a piece and um, sand it down. I mean, I could come in here and probably cut that off right there and sand it down. In fact, I'll do it on one of them to show you how you can do it that way. Now I'm going to come under here and I'm going to show you here. I'm just going to cut that like that. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to trim it flush. But see, as you can see, I cut that off. And if you look here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I don't know if it's going to focus. No, it doesn't like that. Let's try this way. It, oh, wow, the camera's bouncing. Okay, there is a little stress crack just by cutting it off with a, with, to me, a cutters. Let's see if I can point it out here. Right there. It's a stress crack. Luckily, that's not on my part. That is on the piece of sprue nib I cut off. But I have a chance of doing that same thing when I cut that nib off and cut it closer. So I'll show you that right now. I'm going to take this. Cut I'm just going to nibble it off. I'm just going to nibble it off here. I'm just going to nibble it. And there, I was able to nibble it off a little by little. And, um, and we'll nibble off this other side. Just, just basically just shaving it with the clippers and then I don't have any um, remnants of anything in there and then I can come in with one of my sanding sticks and I can sand the nib down just like so here And then if I wanted to, I could come in with my polishing techniques, my ZAM, and I could shine that back out so you didn't see that. But some of it gets painted, so that's that's method number one that I want to show you on today. And the next method, because we have a lot of these to cut out, is, um, well, first let's talk about the different saws. These are uh, razor saws, hobby razor saws. This is Tamiya's razor saw. Um, it is uh, massive teeth. See all the teeth on there? You don't want to use something like that. You don't want to use something like that. You want to use something with fine teeth like that. So as you can see, all these here have super fine teeth. See on this one, super fine, super fine. Okay. Uh, super fine and then you can get like this um this set 
from Hasegawa. Uh, we'll take a look at that real quick. It's not an unboxing or review or anything, but I haven't used it yet. Whoa, just bent it. Oh, that's really stuck on there. But as you can see, there's some fine tooth blades on there. And you know, like this one will fit into a hobby tool. Um, and then you have some you can use by hand. And they have real fine teeth on them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these here. I'm going to use this one right here, this TP3-3. And I'm going to show you something on this. Let me get my Zeron Photo Etch snips here. Cut this out. This is stainless steel, so um, I would assume it's stainless steel. So I would recommend a pair of good photo itch snips here. Zerons make fantastic photo itch snips. And just cut off the nibs there. You can hit that with a file if you want, but that feels good. Now I'm going to come in here and this one I'm just going to hold with my hand and I'm going to come in on part number 5 here and I'm just going to come in here next to the part and I'm going to cut off this sprue gate first put that there so there's not an ejector pin on the plastic that's why you see those and then now that's actual clear and smoothed there and now I'm going to come over here with this one cut the other side and there's that one that one's done doesn't even need to be sanded up we cut it so perfect and that's with one of the Hasegawa um, tri-tool modeling saw set um, I I, Amazon I'll put a link in the description hopefully for this um, these are Tamiya razor saws um, I got these at the hobby store uh, I'll show you um, so we'll come in here same difference I'll zoom in a little bit here hopefully I keep this on camera it's too much alright okay there we go and then now this is double bladed and these teeth are a little more so I'm going to grip the part real sturdy. I'm just going to come in here. And see this is a little more difficult because the teeth are a little further apart and a little bigger than that last tool and it cut it off and this is a little flimsier I think but it, it cut it off with the same degree and then you have different there's teeth on both sides so you can come at it with different um, angles of attack here and then there's that one and that one actually because I didn't have it in my optimizer, that one has a little bit of a remnant on it. And we'll just hit that with a little sanding stick there. Yeah, this new setup, I'm actually going to have to move the camera closer to myself. I thought it was going to be good where it is, but it needs to be closer okay so that's that method and if you know my recent videos you know that I have a rotary tool it is a Shi Yang N7 jewelry tool and currently I have a super teeny tiny carbide dental burr in there and I'm basically going to carve the part out with this dental burr hopefully now it's a variable speed foot pedal so as I 
I can control the speed of it and I can hold it just like a pen. And now I'm going to, hopefully I'm not on the camera here. it off there. And as long as you don't push in too hard, you're not gonna you're gonna cut through it, you're not gonna melt the plastic. The worst thing you can do is you don't want to jab the tool in there, you want to make sure your tool is nice and sharp. And then just slice it off like a hot knife through butter. And then, again, this one looks like it's going to need a little bit of sanding, but it carved it. It's still clear. I could actually use the burr to take off the remnants of this, but that would be hard to do on camera, so I'll do that afterwards. So that, again, is using little burrs and a rotary tool. I'll take my foot off the pedal while I do this. And then if you get some built up plastic melted on there, you basically just take a little Tamiya Extra Thin and brush it on there. And it'll take that plastic right off. It'll just melt it down. A little tougher with the clear because it's a little more durable. basically got to clean that off so that's that right there so there's your there's your different methods of doing this and I'm just gonna come in here with I, I, I like this ha Hasegawa saw right here this little thing right here I can get get in here I can come in here And nobody's saying you can't use clippers. Nobody's saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying this is the best method to do it. I'm not an expert. This is how I do it. This is Crazy Gamer's modeling techniques. This isn't the Bible of modeling techniques. This is Crazy Gamer's modeling techniques. This is basically me building models. I'm not an expert. It's how I do it. I'm not claiming to be an expert. I don't want to be an expert. I just want to build some models and film my journey of building models. So and basically these are gonna fit in here somehow. Let's take a look at the instructions here. And these are basically vision blocks. Now see what I don't understand is it was like this. Yeah, you got that there. You could use some UV glue because it's clear. Um, but in this ring, this is just weird. In this ring right here, there are ejector pins. One, two, three, four, five. So if you are going for a clear sight, hit a sink mark. Yeah, one, two. Three, yeah, basically five, three sink marks. Wow, that's something. So, if you're going for optically clear, you have ejector pins and sink marks. So, you could fill that with some UV glue and sand it out. Um, I don't know if I want to spend another day on clear parts but I think I'm gonna have to show you how to fill that with UV glue and clean it up but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand these ejector pins and see what happens so this is what I'm saying with this ride field model kit you know I wanted to do a, a series simple series on putting this kit together with a full interior, you know, just putting it together, you know, not having any issues. And immediately, if you watch the first few episodes of the series, it was going like that. And then basically, it got 
it got messed up. I mean, it's just, there's so many issues with the kit. I mean, there's fit issues, there's instruction issues. So, and now, you know, we got these sink marks on this clear part here that I'm going to have to um, address. I mean, that is a, I mean, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that sink mark in there. Yeah, you can see it. Wow. Right there. Oh, well, wait, right there. So, there's three of those. Um, you could use a drop of super glue and sand it out um, to fill that um, and then polish it clear. That's one of the good things about this Starbond um, instant adhesive. It, um, it, you can polish it clear. So, yeah, you can polish this stuff pretty clear. You can also use a UV curing glue which I may show, yeah, we're almost 20 minutes, I'm not going to show it in this episode. So, let's just take a look at how these are going to fit on here, just like so. Let's just say that I get that on there, will that even show through? I mean, you're not going to see the sink marks or the ejector pins through the through the um, through the slits in the in the canopy, but you know it's the point of the matter. It really, is the point of the matter here. Another piece here. little remnant of something. See, I don't want to glue those rings on until so this is going to sit like this on there. in there like that. So that's going to fit on there. And now let's put this on. Um, it's going to go like that. At least that locates well. Yeah, you can see the sink marks. Um, I'm just trying to hold this up here. Well, it doesn't even show it on here. The way that it goes. Yeah, it only goes on one way. Yeah, it only goes on the one way. This is just weird. This is what's great about my videos. I don't plan any of this out, and then you just you just see this stuff. So it can actually go on in this orientation, which is the way it is in the picture. Or, if you're not careful, it can go on in that orientation which is odd that it would be multiple orientations it could go into. Now I'm going to have to look to see 
if it actually opens that way. So I would think opening to the rear would be the way to go. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't show. Let's see the actual. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to look up pictures because it can go both ways. Um. So, like I said, it can go this way. Or it can go that way. So this is the way that it shows on the model in the book. But I would think if that opens your entire view this way is going to be obscured. Like your total view this way. Like if you're looking this way, like you flip this open. When you stick your head out, you can't see this entire side of your tank but if it's in the back you have unobstructed view from all around the tank except for this little bit in the rear but maybe it is foreseen behind maybe it is designed that way so they can see behind them and then, and then see that it's weird too because if the loader's hatch pops up it's blocking the same view as this hatch would be if it's open even if he's using the periscope here he's, oh, he's limited to you know this section not to where this is blocked off if this hatch is open you're seeing so I'm not sure. I want to do some research, check out some pictures, and see if it's not supposed to be that way. And there might be a mistake in the book. Um, this would be another good um, instance of Feedback Friday. Um, you can email me at crazygamermodels at gmail.com. I'll be doing Feedback Friday. It may have started by the time this video comes out. You guys can give your feedback on my models. Send it to me in the email, and I'll have a special show on Fridays when I get some feedback and we'll address certain things like this as they come up on you know what you guys think so um, again that email is crazygamermodels one word at gmail.com and um, let's pop that up didn't I so you know send me an email or you know address it in the comments below and tell me what you think um, I prefer an email because you can send me a photograph of what it's the actual what it's supposed to look like instead of just saying hey it goes this way I'd like to see some evidence of it please so again crazy gamer models at gmail.com oh this, this is about 20 minutes so it's gonna do it for this uh, building techniques video uh, we talked about some different tools to cut out plastic um, you can use nippers you can use razor saws um, we tried out the new Hasagawa tri-tool modeling saw set the TP3 set um, I think it's pretty good. It's got finer teeth than the Tamiya razor saws. Hopefully I can link all this stuff in the description. And then we talked about using my rotary tool with a carbide cutting burr to carve out the part also. So, and then we talked about orientation issues and some sink marks. So hopefully um, if I decide to do a video on filling the sink marks with UV glue or super glue and sanding them back and polishing them up I will do the next video will be on that if not we will move on from the turret this will do it for crazy gamer models I am the crazy gamer you guys have a fantastic day